And the podcast will begin in five, four, three, two, one. What's up, Jonathan De La Paz? What's up, Mr. Paco Ares Pacuchaga? Finally, ha? dapat season 1 nandito ka na eh. Pero... Di ba pwede sa season 10 na lang? Hindi pwede. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully sa season 10 nandito ka ulit dahil good things have actually happened to your life tenfold. Kaya season 10. Tunog ka naman ha. Ayos yun na. Okay, I, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Para sa mga ano, kasi nilagay ko naman sa description kung sino ka. Pero sa mga nakikinig at hindi nagbasa ng description, ito pong si Jonathan De La Paz. Siya po ang bassist namin sa Intro Voice bago po bumalik si Jobert Buen Camino, ang original basis ng Intro Voice. So, Mr. Jonathan De La Paz kept the band and the music going. At pinainit niya ang upuan para kay Jobert Buen Camino. <laughs> Kaya lang hindi ka naman pinaalis. Oo nga eh. Hindi naman ako pinaalis talaga eh. So technically, ikaw ang umalis. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit ka umalis? Ay nako. Kailangan ko ba masagutin yun? Hindi. Okay, isa-set up ko lang ano. Because like <laughs> ang intro voice is not a garage band, right? Oh, it's not. I mean, prior to you joining Intro Voice, you were never in any popular OPM no. band. No. So while others would aspire to, there has to be a higher calling for you to give up your place in Intro Voice. Because up to now, Intro Voice, well, pandemic aside, Intro Voice is very, very active. Pretty much. And we were saddened when you decided to step, not step down, but step, well, step down and step aside for the meantime, right? What was your calling? Ano nangyari? Uh, well, you know, Boy America, eh, when you think about it, um, I did this for like six, seven years, I think, yeah. uh, with the band, um, you know, before anything else. And I'm, yung last, was, yung, yung where we left off the album, you co-wrote and recorded and were part of that album, di ba? How very, very generous of you to even mention that I co-wrote it. You know? Right. But, <laughs> oh, kasi, that's mga, Paco Res Paco Chaga for you guys. Hindi, so. ano mga sinulat na kanta? Uh, let's Dance. Sinulat, kasama ka doon. Oh, siguro dagdag ko isang sentence. So, kasama ka pa rin doon. <laughs> Swim to the sky, kasama ka rin doon, di ba? So, Ay, nako. Yan, yan. Yan ang, yan ang Paco Res Paco Chaga who always try to empower people. And I, I, I was telling him, sabi ko, um, why even put me on the podcast? You know, like, why? You know, well, intro voice ka, di ba? Akuin mo. Di ba? Parang, kilala ka, kilala ka, may mga fans ka rin. Like, ah, you really sure? Pero, Pero maliban doon, I, I believe that may mga nakikinig dito who, whose lives you are probably going to touch based on mm-hmm. your testimony and yes. your kwento. Oh, thank you. And that's why I want you here. So yun nga, why... While other people want to be in a band like Intro Voice, Parokya, yes. River Maya, and all yeah. that, why did you decide to step down or step aside? It was just a change in lifestyle. You know, I think um, when I was doing it for quite some time, mahabari yung tinur ko, no? Um, first of all, I was really having fun. Nakilala mo si na Jet Pangan, yeah. si Cornelio. You know, all, these, all these guys. Well, besides that, to be honest, it's more on the experience that I've had with you guys. You know, from you, from Jonathan. Um, back si, then, si it was... JJ, si JJ, di ba? Of course, si JJ, di ba? Definitely, di ba? Um, it was... Uh, it, for me, it is something that I would never forget. And if... If in a perfect world, would I want to be part of it for the rest of my life? Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, who wouldn't, right? Because, sa totoo lang, um, as far as I'm concerned, the whole time it was really fun. It is something that I've probably wanted to do 20 years ago when I was younger, you know. But as you age, of course, um, and living in the United States, um, putting it together. Um, you know, of course, compared to the others, I have younger kids. So even for that period of time that we were doing, we were doing a lot of shows. While bringing your kids, practice, Exactly. You know, natutulog ng nagdadrum ka, di ba? Uh-huh. Um, it was, it just came to a point that they're growing and especially, there was really a time that we were really very busy on weekends and when we're busy on weekends i can't really told them like for example we go to canada or we go to the east coast i can't really like hey 
you guys would come with me. You know, it can't happen because they have school, you know, uh, during the week. So they're younger. They're missing a lot. So like, uh, it it took a toll in in my whole like. I was trying to prioritize things, right? And the, family right came. Family, family came, came first, and uh, especially with my daughter. She's only seven. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. I got um, the left and the right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got en- my uh, my boy Enzo, who's turning twelve. Hi, Enzo! Uh, shout out, Enzo! Shout out, Enzo! You're turning twelve in uh, in a few days. Uh, his ber- birthday is August 11th, and I have a seven year old girl, Leanne. You know, um, I got two kids, and they're great kids, awesome, awesome kids. So, yeah, one wife. Yeah, oh, the man. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hindi. Hindi oh. tayo, ang upuan ko nandito ah This is Jonathan De La Paz This is Paco Respo Not the other way around That's another story to, to talk about And it will take us all day to talk about it um, <laughs> Hi Carol <laughs> oh, that was. Hi honey um, at, at the end of the day It was the family thing That I thought oh, Wait a second um, it, it, Nagsasacrifice yung time ko with them And yeah It was painful for me You know Siguro I mean, I'll, I'm not gonna lie. If I was single, yeah, I mean, no, no big deal. I, I want to do it for the rest of my life. Probably, it was just so much fun. Yeah. And it, to give credit, guys, um, playing with 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 Paco, um, with Jonathan, with JJ, um, and b- back then with G3 and Art, and with Vic, there was no dull moment. What 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 I love about this band, deba, because when uh, you know, in the industry, you will hear bandmates bickering, mm. right? Yeah. Kami dito every every single time barbecuing, every, <laughs> barbecue, <laughs> kain, kare kare ko kaka, luluto ako, di ba? It was genuinely fun, and this is probably one of the rarest group. Now, what you see is what you get. What you see on stage when we're rocking it out and playing and having fun, it's the same thing. Probably even better or even more backstage. Oh, yun din lang nakikita. No? Yun din lang nakikita. No, it was really fun. And just you know, just to make it really frank, ako talaga yung nobody, di ba? I I was the least okay. known Speaking person. Speaking of the nobody, anong ginawa namin para hindi ka makrap sa kanamin nilagay? Nilagay yung skit na. <laughs> that speaks so much of these guys, right? Because. <laughs> There was a oh <laughs> natatanda ko yun eh. There was a time Original that we lalat, eh, di ba? Uh, di ba? there was there was a uh, you know a dami nating gigs and then there was pic, there were pictures. Tapos nakita niyo noon and sa akin I really don't mind. I'm fine with it. Pero tong mga to came to my defense na para bakit kinrap si Jonathan de, si De La Paz? Ah simula ngayon wala silang magagawa. Ilalagay ka namin sa gitna. So right after that show I can't even remember when was that. Di ba ano yun? Di ba sa Envision? I think Envision yun. No, 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 no. Yeah. Way, be, be way before that. Okay, It was okay. way before that. Para, para sa Canada pa nga yata eh. Ah, sabi nito, lagay natin siya sa gitna. Sabi ng Jonathan, lagay natin sa gitna, hindi siya makakrap. Eh, totoo nga naman, kaya lagi ako nasa gitna. Kahit lahat sa poster. Picture, <laughs> sa poster, lahat ako lagi sa gitna. <laughs> you know? And they always, they always got my back. And uh, you know, I really, I really appreciate I really appreciate you the way you guys treated me. Siyempre, as a mutual unit. Eh. Ito, 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 this is what I love about these guys. Even I joined the band 2011, 2012, 2011. Something like that. 2012. So, when I joined the band, sa kanila ko natutunan yung yung pronoun, the right pronoun. Na even though I wasn't part of the band before 2012, o tayo. Mm-hmm. They would refer me as tayo as yeah. us even when they're talking about awards that that intervoice um mm-hmm. were given in the past back in the 90s and even the early 2000s lagi nilang lagi nilang sa conversation which really made me feel really really good about it so and ang ganda because your relationship niyo ni Jobert Buen Camino kahit di pa kayo nakikita physically is solid oh i mean uh si Jobert um talagang ano eh, full support no full support siya nung pumasok ako during no na nag nag I was sabi nga niya pinapainit ko yung upuan ni Jobert um he's been very supportive from the very start tas kanina nagpost sa Facebook di ba oh may picture pa ako talaga <laughs> naman thank you <laughs> yeah. so anyway please lay mo up family is important absolutely how how are you growing up kasi 
medyo yun ang could it be the trigger kung bakit ngayon talagang ang family mo is one nucleus because growing up medyo wow hindi akin this is not how I want my family to be can you tell us that story okay well since you ask mm. and, and there's no shame really on sharing it actually it's it's really part of me that I do share with uh, everybody and uh, for those who are watching mga kapatid ko from from San Francisco my uh, my, my half sister Ate Nini sila Kuya Teddy sa Toronto Ate Telma Ate Tess in the Philippines and of course my my full blood brother James De La Paz how are you guys doing Um, marami pa. Um, um, I, again, um, ilang kayo magkakapatid? Sampu kami. Okay. Sampu kami magkakapatid. So, apat, isa, 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 tas dalawa kami na magkapatid ko. Di ba? Uh-huh. Um, just for the lack of a better term, napaka naughty ng aking daddy. <laughs> di ba? Um, Fili ko nga, Fili ko nga, anak niya to, eh. baka kaba, kapatid ko to, hindi eh. ko lang alam, eh, di ba? Bago lang ng apelido. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how um, I grew up. Uh, malaki kaming family. Um, but what I love about our families, kaya we don't talk about, and a lot of people would talk about broken families. What my dad did, in spite of his mistakes, again, he kami broken. Pero again, you're not condoning, uh, you're, not, you're not downplaying the mistake. Correct. Di ba? You know, um, kami, you know, kami ng kapatid ko, when we found out about the whole situation, of course, when, you were, when we were kids, we had no idea. Like, sino itong mga sumisipot sa mga buhay namin? Kapatid ko. Mm. What does that mean? We didn't even know what it, mean, what it meant back then. And then as we grew up, understanding more, naintindihan namin. So, ikaw ang nine? Pang uh, nine ako. Oo, si James ang bunso. Okay. Si James, guys, na pinag-uusapan natin ang dating drummer ni Richard Poon. Correct. One of the Philippines... Um, Oh my God. Bebop, swing, jazz, uh, R&B drummer. Oh, anyway. oh, exactly. James De La Paz. Yeah. What's up, James? So, um, hindi kami, we never consi- we were never considered as a broken family. Or anak sa labas. Anak sa labas. We never felt that. Okay. Um, kami magkakapatid. My dad was really the author of that. No? Uh, he would really um, move mountains just to make sure na magmamahalan kami as siblings. In spite of the, of course, the situation. Was your dad an absentee father? Um, yeah, because of the situation. But we knew he was doing his best to be available for everybody. And how did you feel? Nakulang ba? Sobra ba? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, um, you know, for, for anybody. Uh, definitely, if... Like growing it's, up. It's funny I- you're saying that because, you know, my brother and I talked about it. Parang, because we would only see my dad like once, twice a week. Okay. So, parang it was... Wait, a, wait, when you say once, twice a week, one full day or hours in a day? Hours in a day. Okay. You know, um, sometimes, you know, maybe all day. Um, so, when you think about it, um, very limited. Right. Limited yung time namin together. Um, so, transitioning to what, basically, who I am right now is because of that experience. You know, do I... Ngayon, nasuso kayo mga anak mo sa'yo. <laughs> exactly. You know, because of that experience, I want to make sure that my kids would have experienced that. I want to be as available to them as much as I could be. Got it. You know, and again, going back to the first question, yeah. is, it's really related to that, that um, they're growing, you know. You know, so I, do, I do envy in a way na kayo na Jonathan, ikaw mga binata na yung mga anak niyo niyo eh. Ay, may mga baguets pa ako. Well, that's true. It's, uh, <laughs> again, that's, that's, another that's, that's, story. that's another story. Doon sa podcast mo, pag-usapan natin. <laughs> exactly. Akin to. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi kita pwedeng interviewin. <laughs> Pwede naman, pero... <laughs> bye, bye. So, yun yung, yun yung para sa akin was the uh, deciding factor. You know? Right. Um, I, I was more on, on giving rather than taking what I really want to do. Um, it's more on considering that my kids were growing and of course time with my wife which I love so much and um, yeah I mean that's that's basically the whole thing na it's because of that not anything about uh, di ako masaya or mga sira ulo to mga to you know it's so um, may mga ibang nakikinig ngayon feeling nila they kaya mesta pang buhay na dahil sa daddy nila mm. or the lack of the the presence of their father no did you ever resent your dad Ooh. 
actually Kasi hindi naman no, messed up ang buhay mo eh. Hindi naman messed up eh. Because he again, he re- I saw in him that he really worked hard to make sure na um napupunan niya yung mga responsibility niya. You know, get us right now we know the three major roles of a man, diba? As a father, mm. as a husband, and as a provider. Yes. You know. Um he he knows but the, the thing is he acknowledges that he failed the second one. Right. You know? But he though so he failed that on that part of being a husband. So he's trying really, really worked hard to make up for it as a father because all 10 of us um he really made sure that he would provide that he would de- every graduation he'll be there or even when i play basketball back when i was was a kid he will work hard to just be there you know his presence to be there so wala wala naman um it's um it's unbelievable na ganun nga because i we felt oh, nga, eh, we felt na he really did what he could the best that he could to um, to fulfill his role as a father to us. So, growing up, at what age mo nalaman na, oh my goodness, playa pala tong si Erpat. Ilan taong ka was, I was nine. I was nine when my mom told me the whole thing. Kasi, alam mo kinaganda rin sa mga, I'm, I'm glad you're asking this question. Kasi, nung ba, when we were kids, when we were kids, Yeah, like really young kids, like probably the same age as my kids right now. You, my my siblings um, from the other family are uh-huh. much older than we are. Uh, yeah. So I met would, your sister. Remember? That's right. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, that's she's the eldest sister. Okay. She, they would actually pick us up. Same in Muntalban. We live in Muntalban Rizal, and they live in Antipolo. So they would pick us up, especially in the summertime, and they would we would spend the whole week there. So it's also a chance for us to be with my dad. And and okay, and you knew that. Okay, mga ate ko to. Oh, oh, yeah, I realized that later on. But, la- you know, I there's this story um, because, again, obviously, I'm a couple years older than my brother. There was there was a time na naglolokohan kami. We were in the backyard and and um, they, they were asking my brother, like, who am I? Who are we? Ah, mga pinsan ko kayo. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know that. He probably didn't remember that story. Again, but growing up at the end of the day is like he, he just put us to, he was really the glue. Your dad, my dad. He was the really the real glue. Na he made sure na he he probably failed in in, in being a husband, but he really worked hard to be a, our our father. Talaga. Your dad's no longer with us. Yeah, he passed away back in 2000. Wow, it's been a long time. 2007, I believe. Quanto mo story niyo? Oh gosh, it's actually on YouTube. Well, the the visit. We'll the post. We'll visit. post a link in the description. Yung pinikwento mong. Sa lahat ng mga YouTube videos ko pinaka marami views yon. Mga thirty views na just get it. Like, so you went. Ho- nasa, naka nasa states. We'll talk about your life in the states. But ito from the states umuwi ka. Yeah. Um. Well, my um. I okay, remember the whole story now. Back in 2006. Um. Yeah. My sister called me from San Francisco. She was crying because uh, we found out um, from a checkup that. My dad had stage four liver cancer. Ooh. I was on my way to Minnesota back then f- for a wedding, you know, me and my wife, and that was that was hard. So he was getting treatment here. He was not really responding well to the treatment. So um, you know, he and my mom they just decide because again, it, it is diff- culturally and strategically, it's hard for us to really take care of them here in the states. So they decided to just settle in the Philippines. Um, so then there was a point where I told my wife, like we did that. This was way before kids. I told my wife, like you know, I just felt that I needed to visit him, even though the chemotherapy for some reason in the Philippines, he was still doing chemotherapy ag- as against what we were saying because we knew we we all know you know we all know what chemo does, but it seems like he's you know his body was tolerating it, and he was responding to the uh, to the treatment kind of. But back in October of 2007, there you go. I just felt something was just something, and I had no idea what it was. I just said, "My boss." I told my wife, "Hey, I'm flying to the Philippines to go visit my dad, and I'm going to make it a surprise." Again, yeah, to make the whole long story short, I flew there. Um, they were actually not home. They didn't know I was going to be there. Wala so, siya nabihan. Wala ako siya nabihan. Wow. So when I, we went to to, to the airport. I was calling home. No one was answering. So I called my my cousin. Like, 
Where the heck are they? Nandiyan sila sa Rojas Boulevard. Nga, yeah, okay, great. So I So hindi ka nagpasundo. Hindi ako nagpasundo. Okay. Wala, 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 wala lang ganoon. Kaya then, lapit, malapit malapit po ang airport sa Rojas Boulevard. So yeah, so, kung nasa ng mo, uh, mo, mo wala, ngayon, yeah. no? Oh. So yeah, it's actually on YouTube. I asked my my uh, my cousin to uh, take a video of me while I'm walking. This is way before all these GoPro and all that stuff. So we need you My dad and my mom were there. They were very surprised. And uh, it was great. It was a great surprise. They was um, they were very happy that I was there. And then I did not during I the the, the visit was for 10 days. Um, and back then, of course, you and I, when you go to the Philippines, we want to see everybody. Right. But I made it a point for that 10 days, I'm not going to see anybody else other Daddy than just be with my dad. I just felt that way. You know, man sa, you know um, trying to be a hero or anything. I just felt that that's the, what, that was oh, the right thing to miss out growing up. Yeah. So 10 days, sige, tayo lang. And it was a great 10 days. But in the middle of that vis- visit, I, I don't tell the story a lot, by the way. Um, of course, we are both in the healthcare industry. So, we're na tayo sa mga ganun sitwasyon. No? I think on my sixth day or seventh day visiting, um, he fainted. In our, um, he, was in, he was going to the bathroom and then he fell. Ooh. So, when, he, when that happened, I was just relaxing. Like, hey, dad. And I saw him. I thought he was going to die or something. But I was relaxed. I was chill, and like, hey, he he's a hundred and sixty pounds. The physically, I was showing I was showing the whole family that no pa- don't panic. Everything's gonna be fine. But deep inside me, I had this adrenaline. Come, I just had this adrenaline in me. I was able to carry him from the bedroom all the way to the car, and he's a hundred and sixty-five pounds. Wow! And he got that time Anyways. So yeah, and we took him to the hospital. The, with the significance of that is my mom saw it. My mom saw how relaxed I was in spite of the storm, in spite of that situation. So calm rin siya. Kumalma siya. Kasi bakit? So here's the, here's the end of the story pretty much. So I even um, I posted um, another video. I took a video hint to say hi to everybody because uh, all of us siblings are scattered all over the world. And even cousins, um, I posted on YouTube. Maghai ka sa mga family natin, and I asked him, like, "Hey, you want me to stay a few more days? Because my actually my ticket was I, it's flexible. I can like you know whatever. And then bumalik ka na. You go you go to your wife. You go to your work and all that stuff. I'll be fine. Three hours on my flight. Remember back then in 2007, no internet on the plane. Right, right. right. Three hours on my flight, he passed away. Ooh. Oh, and I was the last person to know. Because why? It's a 12-hour flight from Manila to LA. Right. So I landed in LAX. Everybody, everybody knew except for me. So when I went to, when I went to LAX, it's a part of our culture na, na dito sa LA, na isa lang ang pipick up sa'yo. Right. In the Philippines, when sa pagbalik bayan ka, the whole barangay picks you up. In LA, nagulat ako, I had my boss, and I got some friends, like, I was surprised. Time out. I want to know why you were surprised. But before that, we'll be back after these words from our sponsor, Mr. Jonathan De La Paz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we're back. So, you were surprised to see your my boss, boss, my friends. Some feeling mo parang Uy, wow special ako so take a time out you, so high ka pa sa experience yes. of 10 days being yes. with your dad you're right marami kang kwento sa mga taong to yes ano itsura ng mukha nila they I don't actually I don't remember I'm, the whole thing was like I was just like what are these guys doing here I'm not in the Philippines where the whole barangay will pick you up right so I was, I was like, for me, it's like, oh, okay, I feel special. These people like, missed me for 10 days. That doesn't make any sense. And then my wife came to me. She was really, very, 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 very sad. And, you know, and I'm always right. like goofing around. And she hugged me and she was crying. And I said, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like, wala, wala. Wala, nothing. Nothing really. I was fine. 
Tanda mo, marami kang baon na kwento from your family. Exactly. Diba? I have so many things to tell them and updates and all that stuff. So, Carol hugged me and she was crying. And I will never forget this because I even made the jokes. I said, sabi sa kanya, um, honey, I was just <laughs> gone for 10 days. You miss me this much? Okay. I so remember saying that. So, wala talagang gut. Wala, nothing. Perfect. No gut. Okay. Everything is perfect. And then she said, How? She said, and she was whispering to me, you know, daddy's gone. And I said, this is the first time. Wow. Uh, this is the first time I've, re- I've experienced real, you know, that, the feeling of shock. You're right. I never understood that until that moment. Diba? So oh, daddy's, daddy's, daddy's gone. Kasi, daddy's gone. No. Sabi ko, no. Because again, I was clueless. Okay. Hug. Hug. Bin- binulong niya. Ganyan, ganyan. Or, or... Binu- de, hug. Umiyak muna siya. Okay. And then she told me. Eye to eye? Hindi. Well, she, was, she hugged me. Daddy's gone. Daddy's gone. And sabi ko. Sabi, sabi mo sa kanya, so, condolence. <laughs> <laughs> si Raul. <laughs> boy na boy pa tatay niya. <laughs> Joke, Tito. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman tayo narinig. Hindi <laughs> naman, di ba? Loko, loko. So, she, okay. she, she hugged me. She cried and then she uttered those words that daddy's, daddy's gone. gone. And I said, no. Right. Uh, again, I'm pako, clueless. Pako. And I think I was already in the state of shock. For really? Hindi mo mali. What do you mean? ng asawa ko ng ganito? Hindi talaga. Okay. Talaga, no. Pero Kasi, deep inside, hindi mo na-realize na, tata mo, nakita mo lang siyang nahimatay. Oh, yun nga. Nakita ko lang siyang nahimatay, pero hindi pa rin. Hindi kasi buhay na buhay siya. Right. No, I took a ka. video of him. Hmm, and he was so alive and I was even offering him to stay. Stay. Hmm. I, I, I'll stay for another few day, few more days, and then and then she reiterated, and that's when I broke down. At the airport. At the airport, I was crying, and I was I was like, "Hey, I want to go back in that plane, go did, back to the Philippines." Um, no, after after a while, I realized I was not crying. In the um, <sighs> no, it was it, um, we. I went back. Uh, a couple days. Yeah, a couple of days. So, of, later. Why, why did you wait a couple of days? Um, good question, actually. Galing talaga magtanong nito sa totoo lang. That's a good question. We, why Kasi nasa airport days? ka na yun, di ba? Ba't hindi ka pa bumili ng ticket sa ticketing office? Um, w- Sinama mo ba yung boss mo? <laughs> exactly. Pero ito kasi, si, yung, during that time, I was thinking, wait a second, you know, nandun ako, I left him alive in my head. Oh, yeah. He was alive. And I decided, you know what? I don't, uh, don't want to see him in, in the coffin. Okay, so I'll just stay. Na, yeah. And then my boss said, what's the problem? What's, what's, what's wrong with you, man? Like, hey, I, he's, he's my, alive in my, in my head, in my heart, and I think I'll keep it that way. And at the same time, I would rather use the money, you know, instead of buying a plane ticket, I would rather use the money to, um, to you know, do the, the funeral and all that stuff because it's not cheap, you know? And uh, he said to me, wait, how much is the, how much is the uh, funeral? Okay, so he pointed out the... He pointed out everything from my plane ticket to Carol's plane ticket to the funeral. He paid for everything. Wow. That's another story, of course. Of course. God bless you, Mark. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yes. And he's been, uh, yeah, it's been a blessing to us. And that was a time when... And also, by the way, highlight din na sinabi niya, don't go for your dad and for yourself. Go for your mom. Oh nga. Exactly. Oh nga. Sinabi niya talaga yon. Hindi ko. I didn't see it that way, and I will admit that. So I didn't hi- see that. So ang hirap din para kay James, because James was in the Philippines at the time. Yes, he was actually. <laughs> I think the, back then they were, you know, Richard and he were very busy gigging all over the place. Right, right. You know, and that, by the way, he died on a weekend. And you know, weekends. Nasa yeah, gig lagi si, yeah. nasa Manila si, ano. Excuse me, Richard Poon and all oh, that. Oh, exactly. You know, um, that's, that's the kind of a now, story. Now, speaking of your wife, your wife was your first girlfriend, right? Hindi, baligtad ka naman. She? Ako, ang una niyang boyfriend. So, did you play? Huh? Did you play? Do we really have to get there? Hindi kasi gusto ko makita yung ano eh, yung similarity sa difference nyo ng, yung influence ng daddy ah, mo. Ah, okay, 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 that. I was, uh, you know, growing up in Playa. high school, <laughs> growing up in high school, I was a little bit of a player. Sure, I mean, who, who is it? <laughs> define, define, define. Ano, 
May girlfriend, sabay-sabay. <laughs> basketball ang, akala ko basketball, pinag-uusapan natin. <laughs> <laughs> si Raulo ka talaga. Talagang tinatrap mo ako ha. <clears throat> Kidding aside. So talagang, okay, so you were, how did you, how did you end up not following your father's footsteps then? Kaling talaga magtanong nitong lokong to ha. Um, Galing, ah. <laughs> so far, there's no dull moment and no dull question. I think they're all great questions. Um, I've, I, I, okay. And for your information, we're, when it comes to relationships, you know, he and I would talk about this a lot. Oh, yeah. A lot. And, uh, Siya ang dahilan kung bakit din tuminu ako, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I will never take that credit. But anyways, um, um, I was afraid of the consequences because I've seen it so much. I've seen it around me, not just with my dad, but you know, both sides of the family. I've seen uh, broken homes, um, early pregnancy, and all that stuff. And I had a dream. I wanted to achieve something, and I thought if I would do follow their footsteps, it's not that then I'm not going to achieve it. It's just going to be harder for me to achieve that. So what really inspired me to definitely, number one is my faith in God, my faith in my, uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's number one. And number two is definitely I was afraid of the consequences that certain actions would create. I was afraid of the consequences. And you and I talk about this, about yeah. this a lot. Yeah. You know, eh, roasting si Paco, hindi afraid sa consequences to eh. Like, bring it on, you know. Ngayon, afraid na ako. Sakit eh. <laughs> Masakit talaga. So, when did... When did America come to your mind? What made you decide to leave? Well, good question then. And anong, anong course ang kinuha mo? Healthcare din, di ba? Oo, oh, kasi I uh, went to uh, Fatima, Fatima University to be a physical therapist. Right. And, you know, again, back in the Philippines, part of our culture is either you were a nurse or a PT so, so, because your goal is to, be, to, to go to the United States. So, yun talaga. Practice. Oh, yeah. yun talaga ang goal ko. Okay. Is to uh, um, and your mom was okay with this, na uh, actually, she's the author of this. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> like any other mothers, <laughs> all right. Para mami ni Joko, di ba? Uh, yeah, any other mothers. This uh, kapag ikay, you're Filipino, you're a nurse, and you're a PT. It doesn't mean that's your chosen uh, career, uh, career or profession. <laughs> it's really your mom's choice to be a PT or a, a nurse. Yon. So PT. So tapos. Nag PT ako, di ba? Tapos yun ang goal ko is to, you know. Again, growing up, you know, the news about sa, when, you, when you're uh, in the healthcare industry in the United States, um, it, it, you swell the, the, the salary that you get in the Philippines dwar- is dwarfed by how much you can make here in the Correct. United States. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, for us Shout Filipinos. Shout out Richard Del Rosario. <laughs> 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 Dr. PT. Anyway. Okay. Tapos. Yeah. And uh, Fortunately, you know, um, like every a lot, not everybody else, but a lot of people, I tried to get a tourist visa, and I got a tourist visa. Me and my wife did. So, girlfriend, wife, mo na si Carol sa Philippines. Dude, girlfriend, girlfriend ko palang siya doon. She okay, applied. I applied. Wait, ano course? Ano course naman ni Carol sa Philippines? U, uh, UST Mass Communication. Sa paano kaya nakakilala? Pwede bang hindi pag-usapan yun? <laughs> uh, it's also through church. Um, okay. Common friend through church. Um, that's another story. Uh, I had a few girlfriends back then. <laughs> I can't believe I was saying that. Um, sabay sabay and all that stuff. I was not thinking right. So, um, nagkakilala kami and, you know, when I, my first two years uh, of physical therapy, I was at FEU. Okay. USD siya. O magkatabi. Magkatabi kami. Yeah. <laughs> Every single day in two years when I was at FEU. Um, Feeling mo, taga uste ka. Taga feeling ko taga uste ako. <laughs> alam mo naman yung uniform na FU, di ba? May pagka dark green yung uh-huh. pants, di ba? So, pag tuma- alaga, alam na alam na taga FU ako kasi pagpunta ko sa UST, ako lagi ibang kulay. Correct. Yon. Doon kami nagkakilala. And, and yeah, we've been together. Wow, it's been uh, 20, 25 years together. So, okay. we've been together since 1995. So now, kayo na, dinitch mo na yung ibang girls. Oh, syempre. <laughs> so, kailan mo sinabi sa kanya na, by the way, ha, Punta ako Amerika. Sama ako. <laughs> y- yun ang sinabi niya. <laughs> Ta- tayong dalawa. Let's go. <laughs> That's what she said. So, is that what you realize? Well, actually, oh, eh. actually, si Carol lang pupunta. Pero ikaw ang pinalaki. Ikaw ang green room to go. Pareho ka. Well, 
pareho naman kami. Iwal, ito. Siya talaga yung, siya, siya yung nakaschedule na pumunta, nakisabit lang din ako na sumabay na rin ako. Ah. Ano, ganun nangyari sa amin. So, kung maganda naging motivation din si Carol. Motivation din talaga, definitely. And then, what was your story like? Pagdating nyo rito. Oh my gosh. Like any other um, uh, story na I will never forget, um, I thought, when, the, when, when we moved here and I started walking around on my first day in Los Angeles, eh, sa Panorama kami, Panorama City, which is a hub for Filipinos. Uh-huh. Asa ng mga Amerikano? <laughs> I mean, I was like, I thought I was back in Manila somewhere. Correct. You know. Um, Aristocrat, uh, Mami King. Oo, oh, takita ko. Exactly. Ando yung Mami King, di ba? Yung, 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 basta yung mga restaurant. Na, Seafood City. <laughs> Island Pacific pa doon, oh, di ba? Okay. Walking distance yeah. from where we, we, we used to live. No? Chow King. Yeah, exactly. And um, it was just, I, it, was, it wasn't um, as, I wasn't as excited as I thought I would be. I, okay. I started to feel na, okay, this is... Because I never work in the Philippines. After I um, uh, finished uh, school, went straight here. No? And then um, it was... Uh, it was a, like, again, like many, if not all, uh, adjustments and changes and trying to assimilate. It was very, very difficult. Um, trials of, you know, definitely getting used to um, the kind of culture, diba right? And... Uh, you know, finding work, finding a job. And, you know, back then, as I've said, tourists kami. So we were looking, we were planning already na, oh, uh, wala si na uwi ang to. Wala na uwi Sito magpipetation, di ba? Ayoko namang uh, to stay here legally, you know. So, so nag-PT ka? Hindi. Hindi ako nag-PT. Ooh. Hindi ako nag-PT. Hindi ako nag-pag-exam. Um, I, I became a PT aide. Naging caregiver din ako, di ba? Um, nagtrabaho ko sa mga, sa mga take care uh, seniors, di ba? I did that for for a long time, okay. you know, and uh, na petition as uh, as a green card through uh, when um, through work also. So, so caregiver na banggit mo yan. That changed your life. Oh, yeah. Caregiving. Can, can, can you tell me your journey from caregiver to? Ito yung rags to riches story mo eh. Yeah, rags to riches to rags again. <laughs> uh, I, I I don't think so. <laughs> In the um. You were taking care of I was, uh, Miss ano, Virginia. Kasi ganito yun eh. I, I remember myself, okay, you know what? I'm going to pursue being a physical therapist, right? Mm. And But I was very anxious to find a job and work. And there was, there, it came to a point na I started caregiving and I met this family. Um, her name is Esther Virginia Bunsman. And the son was just looking for someone who would genuinely... Care for the care mom. Care for the mom. I mean, back then, she had multiple caregivers. I think that three, no? Three caregivers rotating. Pag-apat ka na. Oh, parang... But he, he when when uh, he was looking for a caregiver, he was just looking for someone who's going to be passionate about this, who would treat his mom as his own, no? And... So, mahal na mahal nitong... Si, who do you know? Si Mark. Si Mark. Oh. Mahal na mahal ni Mark mahal yung mami niya. niya. Sobra. Oh. Sobra. Un, un, unhurt. It's really a rare um, uh, situation, no? Para when looking at him, he, you know, he's he's Jewish and the family's Jewish, pero sobrang love niya talaga yung nanay niya. Yeah. And he felt in me, no? He felt in me that So ikaw ang naging caregiver ng yeah, mommy niya. Ako ang naging caregiver to make the whole long story short. Uh, it was a it was a process, but ako ang naging caregiver and I took care of her. As in senior caregiver? Um, caregiver talaga. You know, I was taking care of her um, during the day. She lived in an assisted living facility. Tapos, okay. papasyal ko siya. I, I, I call, you know, all these years, sabi ko, I call it a five-year vacation. Hindi mo na feel na job yun? Hindi ko feel na job. Mabait si Miss Virginia. Si, si, oh, si Virginia. Mabait kasi. Tsaka mati yung may matanda, naka-wheelchair lang. But she had dementia. Oh, so lahat ng sasabihin mo secret sa kakalimutan niya. Ah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Sinabi ko lang sa kanya lahat. Pero, so para ka, may, para ka may therapist. Exactly. <laughs> so five years because I, ang, yung, it started with um, si, the son, Mark, was like, hey, you know what? Um, how about you take my mom to certain trips? And I said, okay, you want me to start with Vegas? And when we... And because she had Parkinson's and dementia and possibly Alzheimer's, um, 
it, every time we would travel, she would start to speak. She would start to have this conversation. And we saw life in her whenever we traveled. So that was the beginning of a five-year vacation because after that Vegas trip, I was able to take her all over the United States and Canada. We went on a cruise. Paano pag gusto mo na magbakasyon? Let's say, ka na Pilipinas. Oh. Sino magbabantay dun sa Matanda? Sinasama ko. Sinama mo? Sinama ko dalawang beses. Sa Pilipinas? Oo. Oh, sinama ko pareho. In- sandali, sandali. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Eh, hindi Pilipino to, di ba? Hudyo. Hudyo to. Paano mo nasama sa Pilipinas? Oh my God. Oh my God. Hindi ano eh. Ano ganito yan eh. <laughs> Because um, I treated her as my own. So para mami. Parang la, lola, lola, lola lola talaga. Lola lola ko na si Virginia. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much like every single day I would take her whatever, you know. I just treated her as my own. So, the problem was in 2006 my you know, Carol and I decided, hey, can we, you know, we we're going to get married and where are we going to get married? We want to get married in the Philippines, but back then we still had family in the Philippines. So sabi ko Okay, um, sabi ko sa boss, uh, kakasal na ako. Sabi mo kay Mark, yung boss ko, mo. Okay, boss, uh, I'm gonna go get married. So, um, I'm gonna go to the Philippines. And so, how long will, be, how long will you be gone? Um, I said, I'll be gone for about a month. A month? <laughs> so, you know, I like, a month? I mean, <coughs> no one takes vacation? A, a month? I mean, and then, and I was playing, it's just a Filipino thing, you know. It's right. 7,000 miles away from home. So when you, and when you go, you... Air, you splurge. You, you splurge, you, you stay there for as long as you can. Yeah. And you see, Prima said, how about I make you a deal? Chili sabi nito. Mark. Okay. Mark. Uh, wait, a, well, but before that, he said, like, who's going to take care of my mom? <laughs> you know. So, like, um... Okay. In my head, like, that ain't my problem. Man. Right, right, right. But again, because he knows my heart, like, you know, I'll find someone who's going to be very reliable. Um, uh, di siya comfortable. Di pa rin, di pa rin. Uh, how about, how about take my mom? <laughs> And I said, okay. <laughs> And then, of course, my mom would need to travel comfortably so how about I buy you and your wife and you three would go on business class and I said Oy. okay just keep talking keep talking you know and then yeah and then um, and I told them hey is it okay if I you know get some help when I w- because there will be things that I had to like yeah as long as you're you know she's with you and all that stuff so again to, to, to tell you frankly he covered he covered every single thing Naka like, hotel kayo sa Montalban kayo nakatira sa na, na, halo halo Pinatira mo siya sa Pinatira sa bahay ko <laughs> tapos mag hotel kami sa Ortigas we would stay at the Linden Suites actually Oh okay Ay ba pa, pa, ano kami kusa kami abutan ng gabi ng gamit stay kami doon May pangkaskas ha Oo sa ayo sa iyo ibang klase um, and we were there for a month <laughs> And I had paid. help, and you got paid. Yeah, I I did get paid. You know, he uh, he offered that, but cause, cause it, were you pinching yourself, kayo ni Carol? Yeah, kind of. But but, but back then it didn't feel work. It really okay. didn't. It again, I still call Galing, it even no? to this day a five year vacation because every every single time, like um, and Mark has been so generous. I mean, who you told about? Normally. So, ano yan eh? Ano? Kapit. Uh, uh, frugal. They're very yeah, frugal. very frugal. Uh, they're frugal with money. and But for, for me and Carol, because again, he's, I mean, at the end of it, kami, and I will say the same thing for you, what you see is what you get. Right. We, we're, we're never been pretentious. Right. Kung sino ako sa harapan mo, yun ka. Kung how I treat you guys as friends, it's the same way I treat my wife and my kids. You know, right. it's it, no pretensions, you know, and he felt that there's this genuine, and there's this huge, Para huge amount, yeah. well, there's just huge amount of trust that we have for each other. And, yun, it, 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 so kanya, it doesn't matter whether I get a paycheck or, I, 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 there we see even a point na, basta eto sweldo mo hindi oh, na ako pero dapat per hour ako eh hindi wala nang ganun basta ito lang pero oh yeah, yeah, yeah sa iyo na yan oh, pag Pasko bibigay na ako ng ganun na yung ganun ng relationship namin bali wala no? and then um, it's I miss that you know uh, kaya na, na, kaya going going back to the oral back to the ako naging PT eh sarap doon limang taong ba namumuha of namumuha? course of course limang taong ako nagbakasyon hindi eh. mo kailangan mag-review hindi <laughs> <laughs> ka mag-review may eh, eh, just imagine 
pa- ano, para akong ano, para akong talagang nag-try. I, w- I was able, nakaka-38 states na ako. Wow. Sa Amerika. Wow. 12 na lang. Oo nga, no? 12 states na lang hindi ko napupuntahan. Now, bakit five years? Uh, what happened after five years? Ooh, yeah, she, well, yes, you know, she was, she, she passed away, she was 93. She's just, sabi ko nga eh, parang medyo overstay na. <laughs> so when she passed away, how did you feel? Parang, oh, ooh, parang, ooh, I was oh, there, oh. I was there to the last breath. And then, di mo naisip yung future mo, tapos na eh. Anong, tapos na. Anong pumasok sa isip mo, oh, okay, jobless, ganon? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, naisip like, mo what, 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 yeah, what's next? Well, okay, to be fair, actually I didn't because the family was just so I mean, on the side when 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 I was doing caregiving, you know, Mark would give me some responsibilities within the family. Business. Business, uh, mm-hmm. family affairs and all that stuff. So, yeah, um at, at the back of my mind, yes, but at the same time, I had this confidence that they they wanted to keep me for certain um roles within the family. So I was there the, the last breath, um, and then when the dust settled, uh, they pretty much I didn't even have to ask or anything. Hey, hey I, we know you need to, to we need a job, and here's a position for you. Can you be my assistant? So I worked for him as an assistant for Virginia's son Mark um, for about a year as a personal assistant, and I was pretty much uh, doing uh, family affairs um, back day to day, day to day lang. Oh, yeah. it's re- it's really it's really Naka mini skirt ka nito. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> he would wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was. Yun. And then um, when after a year, ito yung pinaka highlight and has, the, the, how I became a business owner is that titingin na kami one day. When dami namin natapos for a year and we were looking back and uh, we were achieved a lot of things together and he just literally asked me like, "Hey, um, you wanna what business do you wanna do?" I said, "Hey, you know, when your mom was alive, I did consider." Um, operating senior care facilities and he said I will never forget this conversation okay ganun lang <laughs> yeah exactly go do the legwork do the research and I'll fund it and he funded the business this was uh, Virginia House this is Virginia House that's how um, it started and so you facility. founded Virginia House yes it's a it's a 15 bed senior care facility in Tarzana California why did sino na ng Virginia House syempre ako okay in honor Galing. of Galing. yeah it, we named it in Virginia House in honor of her and you know what when you were when during those five years ang ang puso mo was really focused on on care oh reckless abandoned care yeah i think so I nothing think so. na hindi ka nagtipid na hindi kailangan ito yeah na ne- never okay. never thought no? na you know i'm doing too much yeah, I, it's funny you're saying that because a lot of people like i i never treated it as a job oh nga five year vacation i never did. Yes, i mo. said i i never treated it i think for a lot of people if everybody would do it that way things will be better for you. And you never expected na bibigyan ka nila ng funding mm. for to start your own business. No, I didn't. I really didn't. I I thought it was just like, hey, you know what they're helping me out and we have we're, we they treated me as family, not like family, as family. And uh when when Mark did that, we started Virginia House and it lasted for 10 years. It grew. Meron ka pa sa Santa Maria. It grew sa diba? Santa Maria pa. It's another story. So we grew, and we even operated the coffee shop. So yeah. you had two senior care facilities. Four. Four se- wow, four senior care facilities. Four senior care facilities and multimillion. Oh. Oh yeah, these are, you know, he the 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 setup is he owned the properties and I own the business. Parang ano, McDonald's, di ba? Parang ganun, no. Oh, oh, ang pag-aari nila yung, yung property, b- property and then you franchise. franchise oh, oh. Ganun. Ganun ang nangyari sa amin and that's that was the arrangement and um ang relationship na it's just it's just out of this world trust trustful relationship you know nang yari sa amin and um unfortunately you know, segue yang out you know he just seven, 3 years ago he, he passed away passed away tra- um in uh, biglaan in uh, biglaan lang he uh, he he um he was going through uh he was getting cancer treatment he was not supposed to die but he he went through a clinical trial in uh, at uh, Johns Hopkins Hops, Johns Hopkins I can I can't pronounce it that correctly Johns, Johns Hopkins. Hopkins Johns Hopkins uh, Medical Center uh-huh. in Maryland and I was just talking to him hours before he 
He passed. He, um, yeah, because he was going to go through, it's an outpatient treatment for his uh, prostate cancer. And uh, unfortunately, he had a bad allergic reaction to it. So, do they, you know, you know, you know, now what? Now, anabutan kita when you were running multiple businesses and being the bass player of Intervoice yes. and oh. having a new baby. Oh yeah, there you go. Babalik, babalik at babalik tayo doon. <laughs> sabay, sabay mong ginagawa sabay, sabay yun. Sabay, sabay mong ginagawa yun. Yes. And thanks for pointing that out because that's also a factor. You know, I'm, I was running multiple businesses and then I was, I'm gone two weekends out of the month. Yeah. That's like, again, going back to the original question is that, yeah, I was like, dang, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Yun ang ano eh. So, but again, all good things must come to an end, di ba? Yes, yes, exactly. And it was hard. It was, it was hard. Um, from leaving Intervoice, then, you know, got tired. Um, I was really impacted by his death. So I went. And then running multiple f- businesses. Yeah, I went through a, a really, uh, for lack of a better term, I was depressed. So let's talk about your depression, no? and and why you gave up your businesses. Pero bago yon, we'll break for a commercial and then we'll be back after these messages from our sponsors, Jonathan De La Paz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we're back with. My good friend, my fellow musician and brother, Jonathan De La Paz. Thank you. So, kanina pinag-uusapan natin, you were, you were, na-witness ko na ang dami mong checking, limang libo, $5,000 check, $7,000 check, $3,000 check, $4,000 check. At papakita mo sa akin, oh my God, malapit nang mag-expire itong mga check na to, hindi ko pa na en cash. <laughs> And guys, to the point na when I was down in the dumps, lahat ng mga creditors, sinisingil ako and all that stuff. And I just approached this guy. Sabi ko, pahingi nga ako sa punlibo. Kailangan ko lang kausapin itong mga creditors na to. <laughs> and hindi niya sinabi kung kailan ko babayaran yung sa punlibo na yun. Pero yung, yung gesture na yun na mm, fix your finances, get your life together. And you know, yun yung, yun yung legacy mo. I, 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 I wanted and I still am I still have my life together because of that simple gesture. You, you touched my life. But why did you give up the, the high, the timeshares, vacation here, vacation there? You were living the life. Eh. Well, first why of did all, you downshift it's, it's, to simple? It's not $10,000, it's $10. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. <sighs> Again, it's again when emotions are high. Um, even running the business wasn't smooth, you know. I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I. Nakapekto ba sa inyong magasawa yon? Yung hindi ba kayo nag? Kasi pareho kayo. You were in the business, right? Yeah. Um, in you know, one what, office what, room. What I love about Carol really is what I, I would say that to everybody is. Sa kanya kasi, it's ne- the, the finances has never been an issue. Okay. It's never been an issue for her. Um, she, and she, I, what I would love about her and what really m- make us together and last this long and, and beyond is she's more interested in me than anything else. She's, so pareho kayo? Oh yeah, pareho. Both of you are interested in yeah. you. <laughs> 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 I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Carol. Ganun, ganun ang relationship namin. Actually, you know what? I don't like that word compatible. Talaga. I don't know why. I mean, because we're not. I mean, right. you know, uh, going going to, when we were when we got married, yung boss ko, yung sobrang galante. Go, um, what, where, you, where, what, where do you want to go for your honeymoon? I said, I've never been to Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii. And I was like, kapal ang mukha ko. Ayun na, sasabihin ko. Tinanong, tinanong ako eh. Hindi ka man ang hingi. Oh, di ba man ang hingi, di ba? Where do you want to go? I want to take care of it. Like, anywhere. Oh. Anywhere. Eh, ang misis ko, back then, that was in 2006, and pangarap na pangarap yung mag-New York. Taong-taong, pupunta, every two years, pupunta ng New York. Pero nung panahon na yung first time, hindi pa siya nakapunta ng New York. Sabi niya, honey, gusto ko sa New York. New York? Anong gagawin dati sa New York for honeymoon? Are you kidding me? Sinagod ang boss ko yun. What's, what, what's my point? Is, 
ang buhay namin ni Carol really symbolizes that moment where I want to go to Hawaii and have a great time, uh, have a relaxing time. Right. She wants to be in New York and just see the city and she see the city life. Lakad. So compatibility is where that's you. That says a lot of our uh, as our in our marriage. We're really two opposite people. Running the business, by the way, we 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 ran the business. <laughs> Can you imagine a husband and a wife running a business like that? Yun na nga. Pareho pa kaming, ano, um, A personality. Uh, a personality pa. Uh-huh. Well, ako, A plus siya, A minus na konti. Uh-huh. Pero, kasi pwede, bumaback up siya, eh, bumaback out siya pag alam na niyang hindi ako magpapatalo eh. Um, when we were running the business, we would butt heads the way we do things. <laughs> I mean, I'm supposed to be, kumbaga, ano eh, I'm the CEO because she says so. <laughs> diba? So, We were butting heads in many things. And that's why sabi ko, compatible ba kami? Not really. But we, we had a commitment. We have a commitment to each other. So, it doesn't matter. Let's just work it out. You know? So, hindi kami compatible. Sa totoo lang. Pero, we made a commitment. But, we made a commitment and we do. We're cra- I mean, even after 25 years, I do believe, she believes, that we're still crazy about each other. Speaking of crazy about each other, naniniwala ako doon, di ba? Kasi yung mga iba sasabihin lang, ako, ano na, paso na yan. Kasi, ang tagal na namin magkasama. Kayo, hot tamale pa rin kayo sa isa't isa. Absolutely. Absolutely. I say it with a straight face because um, it's, it's, a, it's a conscious decision. It's a choice. I we again the way we also talk um, talk to people about that. What's your secret? And we get that question a lot, right? You know, we've been together since 1995, 25 years, but we got married in 2006. Um, but what keeps us together, in spite of what I preach and tell people that we are two opposite people? I say it's just we're just committed. We made that promise to each other. We made that commitment. We're fulfilling that commitment. We're tied to that commitment. And when it comes to love, we choose to love each other. Choose. Many, we choose. Verb. We choose. Mm. Because it's... Because, why? Because many times, because we're two opposite people, we will, we will be the first one to admit sometimes we are unlovable uh-huh. with each other. Diba? I, I mean, ga, gusto niya akong sakalin. Gusto niya... Gusto kanyang tirisin. Tiris, or gilitin ng <laughs> lego. And... The same probably I would want to do with her, but we choose not to. We choose that. Okay, anong, uh, tsaka, ano eh, um, it, it, we're not for this world. I, we don't want to be dictated for right. what the world is doing. We want to be, we want to be, I mean, forgive me for being religious, but we want to, to, uh, to fulfill the, uh, the, the, what, what God says us, right. who we are. We're, 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 we're um, determined by not how we feel not what we want to do it's really we surrendered our, our relationship with God so whether you like Carol today or not she will always be on top of a pedestal absolutely by choice by choice one thing na napulot ko siya na ina-apply ko sa buhay ko guys is hindi ako nagla-like ng picture ng babae sa Facebook <laughs> because of you <laughs> and I take pride na if there's one thing that you will not see me do is to like other pictures of women, even little girls. Mm. Kahit, let's say, anak, si Enzo, I will like his picture. Mm. Picture ni Lian hindi ko ilalike. Not because I don't like Lian, mm. pero sinabi ko sa sarili ko, tawagin mo na ako hardcore, pero sa'yo ko napulot yun. I will not like a picture of another girl except my wife. Yeah. Yeah. What, what paano mo naisip yun? Um... Carol has never been the jealous type. But just to be safe, I'm assume she is. It just creates so much trust on her part. No? She knows that I'm dedicated to her, but it's not just about the words, but I have to come up with ideas with my actions, mm. with what I do. And she sees that. Talk is cheap, di ba? Exactly. Talk is cheap. You have to prove it. And hindi naman niya si Diniman yun. She thinks it's a kind of silly, but I think, no, no, it's, You know, I'm trying, when it comes to, because again, I'm, it's all, all these questions that you're asking me are so connected to each other is because this is part of when you ask me about my family, right. how, how it became like this. I'm going, because I'm just Correct. I don't want, I'm, 
And this is what I talk to people about. It, it, ano pa sekreto namin ni Caro in our marriage is that I will never assume that na I will never assume na exempted ako from temptation. I will never assume that I'll be strong enough you know, na I'm exempted from sin or Correct. from cheating on my wife. Hindi ako exempted. I could do it also. But, you know, in the small things that I do leads me away from that. So know. porn, walang porn. No porn. Vices. Um, kasi ako, sa totoo lang, it's funny, I'm gonna say right now, um, I just recently talked to my son about sex. Yeah. He's 12. 12, yeah. 12 years old, right? And, um, Binila mo ng lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Anak, sabi ko sa kanya. And, 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 because, you know, he, he went, you know, he goes to private school and it's a Christian school. So very, very sheltered, right. sheltered, sheltered, very, very sheltered. He was so naive when I revealed to him how it works. Because oh, when I was a kid, relating to yours, to your question, because when I was a kid, I really thought kissing, I, kissing someone, um, ako ang shake hands lang eh. <laughs> Kaya pa na yung shake hands ko sa mga babae. <laughs> ako pag ayaw umalik na babae kasi baka mabuntis. Takot ako eh, di ba? Ako naman, ako siguro talaga sinasadya ako mabuntis kasi noon, a- a shake hands? Shake hands ako na shake hands ko kanin. <laughs> Tapos inaabang ako, magkakaanak tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi pala ganun. Real talk. You know, you, yun na nangyari sa, sa akin. And I was, for, um, I, 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 again, I, um, I was just, because of my dad situation and the family situation i just all my life i just been guarded from right. that because because at the end of the day i was again that answer that i gave you earlier i'm just afraid of the consequences of my actions and plus dna diba you are your dad's son alam mo yon so mm-hmm. every single day but then again you're you're born again which means you are released from that curse also mm-hmm. yes yeah absolutely and it's not just about being released from it you make sure that okay, you, you don't yes. get back to that pit you know right. because again walang exempted sa atin so what do you tell your son how do you how did you talk to your son about it how did you well I started with just asking him the question do you know <laughs> sabi niya hindi sabi hindi <laughs> kasi nga sheltered sila eh Christian okay. school eh di ba sa totoo lang walang bullying doon. hindi mo sinabi sa akin gagamitin mo lang pag gusto mo magkaanak otherwise itago mo yan <laughs> We're going to go to that phase. But right, right now, because he's 12, and a lot of people thought it was too early. I said, no, no. Ex- heck no. So I talked to him about I the physiological it. aspect of, of sex. More on physiological than anything else. And I'm letting him digest that for a moment. Because sabi niya nung gabi yun, nung tinawusap ko siya, diniretso ko siya, that hindi ako makakatulog ngayong gabi. <laughs> because now I know how you, you and mom created me. <laughs> And I really thought all you have to do, but ikaw shake hands ako kisa because he's in a in a Christian school um, shelter Amazon. masyado hindi hindi Amazon loko si um, kasi di yung ko akala niya Amazon <laughs> hindi sa kanya naman akala niya um, akala niya pray. pray lang kami dalawa <laughs> <laughs> the greatness ni ka Edzo at sa kasilian sabi niya oh my gosh okay he, he really need again ha, my my personal thing is when it comes to those kinds of talks, it has to come from us, not from the street. Not from, uh, yes, and not from, kung pwede nga, wag sa mami. <laughs> Bakit sa mami, di ba? You know. Eh, paano si Lian? To... Sinong kakausap kay Lian? Oh, siya, si Carol. Parang, when you have a girl, and you have a girl now, di ba? Hindi ko yata. Sandali, tanin natin yung ating uh, artist relations na nandito si Michael Abad. Did you do the talk with Sophie, Mike? Kind <laughs> You're well here. If you say kinda, I don't think I have the 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 balls, sorry for the language, to do it with my girlfriend. Ako rin eh. Hindi ko kaya. Ako hindi ko kaya. Ako. Sabi ko, catch it. Yes, daddy. <laughs> um, honey, pwede ng ikaw mo sa anak mo, di ba? I mean, so it's it's just a it's just so different. Now, did you and your wife... Palibasa pareho tayong luku-luku growing up, di ba? Did you and your wife talk na, o oh, kakausapin ko na si Enzo, who's 12, ha? Huwag kayong makikialam. Yeah, yeah. I actually... Okay. Um, that night, this was about a month ago. Um, I... <laughs> that night, I said, I'm gonna have a talk with Kuya. I told Lian, my, my hmm. daughter, and she said, but I wanna be in the... I wanna <laughs> talk to you guys too. Like, 
And no, 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 you don't understand. And you know, literally, Leah, Leah Carol pulled her like, "Oh, gonna have fun. Let's go. Let's go to the bedroom. Let's watch something." So they watch a movie or something. So I started talking to Enzo, which was for me. I mean, that's one one of my goals really going up because again, you and I, I'm sure, is a Filipino thing. It's a Filipino culture that we learn sex. Not from our parents. No, we learn it on the streets, and yeah. for, it's very unfortunate. Actually, af- after learning it from the streets and using it on the streets, <laughs> and failing at it, I <laughs> Learn- kid- learning and using. Oh my gosh! Only I from kid- I kid you not. That's when I ran to my mom, telling the available tatay ko, who's probably using it on the streets as well. <laughs> Tumakbo ako sa nanay ko, umiiyak ako ma. Mali yata, ginagawa ko. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yan ang mga, y- y- mo, dapat talaga ma-interview ko eh. Hindi na, okay that na ako. That the table should turn. <laughs> no. That ta- I mean, ako gusto, kahit, 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 kahit siguro may mga 10 views lang ako. Alam mo, pag in-interview kita, 1 million views ka agad, viral ka agad. Roasting, pag roasting, sa totoo lang. So now, going yeah, back to you. Many, many stories to tell about Paco Ares Paco Jag. A lot, a lot. So going, going back to you, your brother is here now in the states. Yes, he is. And then sa bahay mo, you have your. There was a time you you had your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law. My brother and your brother, his family. His family. How did that work? Oh, wow. Um, it How? was exciting at first. Mahilig is a big family. Whoa. My, uh, oh, exciting at first. At first. Ooh, I want to hear. May time pa tayo, Jay, no? Okay. <laughs> it's exciting at first. And I'll tell you, with, so, the, when, with the stress on at first. Because it's exciting because, you know, you want to be, I mean, we love family. Okay. Kami kami ni Karo, dun, actually, dun kami compatible. Mm. We love family. Next, Whether it's her, her side of the family or my side of, side of my side of the family. But of course, pag kami jud matagal-tagal na, syempre gusto mo naman kayo ng dalawa na lang. I know, you know right? At the, at the end of the day, it's just it's just the way it's supposed to, to be. be. Yeah. Na kami lang yung pang jump start lang kami, di ba? Pang salo lang kami and then you have to fly on your right. own, di ba? Di ba? But yeah, of course, like let's just do real talk. Syempre na pag kasama mo kasama mo araw-araw, di ba? Parang you know, because everybody are wired differently. They have different things that they do. And may mga, may mga pagka, mag, pagkaawayan kayo, mayroon kayo mga yeah. conflicts. And it's natural. It's just, yes. calm. It's, it's more on how do you respond after the conflict. Diba? So yun, excited nung una, pero dahil, may, siyempre may ugo, iba, iba ugali, yung pakikisama, yung that stuff, medyo nagkakaroon. Sino ang naki, so even if ikaw ang host, nakikisama ka rin? Oo naman. I have to. Okay. It's out of. It, it, sa totoo lang, it's because. Because um, you want to. It's, it's part of our culture. Okay. As Filipinos, talaga. And there are many things, and I, I do believe myself that I have assimilated myself to the culture of the United States, and, and marami akong ginagawa na basis sa kultura dito, but I definitely still try to retain a lot of the good Filipino cultures, which is family. Right. Diba? Ikaw, you know. Uh, ito pa uh, pagka to kay, kay, pa, kay pamilya lalo kay, kay, kay ex-girlfriend or whatever the ex-wife ex-wife di ba tinutulungan okay. niya talaga part ng why 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 you oh. why this way you know and it's your upbringing it's your culture it's that's just us na gusto natin tumulong right. ng ibang ng ibang tao and that's what we did and lalo na pamilya and um, it, pero buti naman sila mismo ang nagkukusang Mag launch. Oh, naman. Oh, okay. They, because they feel the same. Oh, para pag isa sa kanila nag failure to launch. Papano mo? Wala pa naman ganun eh. Wala pa naman pero ganun. Pero kung nagka, pag, wag naman sana, pero pag nagkaroon ng ganun, how would you deal with it? You know what? You and I have this thing in common about just being straight. Straight. Straightforward. With, di ba, ta problema natin dalawa, we speak the truth. The Bible says, speak uh-huh. the truth. But the problem is, we put a period at the end. Yun. But the Bible says, Speak the truth in love. In love. Oh. Yeah. And problema natin dalawa, mm. lalo na ako siguro, eh, speak the truth lang. Wala ng love. So you mean, permission na. <laughs> <laughs> but again, you know, blood is thicker than water. Uh, ang, ang ano pa rin is, is that you, we, were, we were rooting for each other to succeed in our lives here in the United States. Your, your son is 12, pushing, twin na siya ngayon, twin, T-W-E-E-N, mm. right? Now, Yung isang kaibigan natin, si Joseph Bayan, mm. 
21 yung anak niya as of the taping of this uh, episode. And umiiyak siya because nagpaalam na yung anak niya. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> And sabi ko sa kanya, why, why, I know you're sad, but then again, you should be proud dahil yeah. in October, your son is gonna launch yeah. into the world. Mm-hmm. Some rockets launch into outer space. Yeah. Your son is g- willing to launch himself into the world. I take pride that my 24-year-old son has been launched into the world. Yeah. Diba? Pero ikaw, ilan, ilan taon na lang meron mo? You have nine years. Yes. And it scares the hell out of me. Already. Al- 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 already. Al- al- yeah, even, you know, time, diba? A lot of Kasi people... Kasi mo, blood is thicker than water. Pero dito, may expiration date ba sa anak mo to stay in your house? Yes. Ah, interesting. Absolutely. Um, I think I'm gonna do a disservice as a parent to him if I don't equip him towards that goal. Um, I think, um, again, pressure builds character. Right. Oh, I agree. You know, if there's no pressure, how can you build I character? Agree. Yeah. That's how you make diamonds, baby. Absolutely. Pressure on the coal. Yes. You know, uh, at, at, at an early age from, you know, again, I just told, told you guys about talking to him about sex. Um, now talking to him about life, you know, mm. like my um, my current job as in the shipping companies, I make him um, unpack boxes and clean the warehouse or clean my garage whenever there's packages in my garage. Um, I make him work because you know hindi na lang puro Roblox at laro na lang. Right. He, I do pay him though. I do, I do you know, it's it's uh, five dollars an hour. <laughs> But I do pay him because he, he and then because he said that I want I know um, because he's got a MacBook Air he said he wants to upgrade he wants a MacBook Pro and I said where's your money like and do you get spoil it. do you spoil them ooh okay um, maybe my daughter maybe mm. I I will be man enough to so admit yes that. <laughs> yes there's some pero disciplinary ako kami ni kami ni Carol um, uh, it's funny you're, again you're asking that because. I was um, some a, a parent uh, a, a couple a couple actually called um, called me one time and they just were like, "How in the world do you do you, do you nurture these kids? They're great kids." And I even um, I because um, they're they're two they're, they have two two, two boys. You no, know? they were fighting and they were just asking about how do you deal with conflict. And I said, right. "Well, it starts with this." First of all, I'm you know sorry for bragging, but I've I've never seen my kids never, even uh, ne- they've never had a meltdown, never zero. Uh, sabi ko sa ko ko sila sa tingin. Right. Because it's part of the discipline, you know. There's every, we're very, very even for those little things we tell them na um, pag hindi ka nag please very alert kami ng Carol Jan. You have we just have to be a parent, of course. 24-7. You don't let them get away with even the smallest things. And they realize that there are consequences. Not necessarily punishment. So, tatanggalan mo ng iPad. Tatanggalan mo iPad. Face the wall. Or, or de- you- Kasi sabi mo lang sa akin kanina, bra- bra- bago tayo mag, um, mag-tape, is meron silang viewing time. May viewing time ang mga phone sila. Um, they would, they would um, make requests, and, but I have the, I reserve the right to, re- to refuse right. their request on their phones. And you know, honestly, I I also did corporal punishment. Pinapalo ko sila when I, until the age of six. Well, my girl bilang na bilang, dal girl. Oh nga. Okay. Um, Caka sapuit lang, and it's just one time. You know, I I still believe in the rod. You know, um, Enzo medyo dalake, medyo sutil, uh, up up to six years old. Pero nung na, pero pagka may alam nilang may cons, kasi dun mo, kasi yeah. I always tell them it's not really the punishment. We have an agreement. Correct. Palo ka pag may ginawa ka. Hindi, hindi makabasag. Ha? Makabasag or it was an accident, no. Pero kapag, number one kasi is disobedience. When you do, when you disobey, palo ka. Yeah. And because of the, con- they, they realize, ang palo kasi is the, con- it's, not the it's not the concept of punishment. It's no. the concept of uh, consequence of every action. Yeah. Because it's an agreement. It's an agreement. Papaluhin kita pag ginawa mo to. Ginawa mo to. Pag nag-disobey ka. Pag hindi mo naman ginawa, di. Hindi mo lang. Di ba? Yeah. And, and I was sharing them na parang sabi ko, gu- gu- lumaki sila sa disiplina. But at the same time, syempre, 
paminsan-minsan naman, yung mga gusto nila yung mga konting kapricho, eh, bibigay mo naman. Eh, siyempre, mahal na mahal. Part, part yun ang okay. love eh. So, Enzo, if you're watching, daddy's gonna give you a MacBook Pro. <laughs> no, I am not. You're gonna be working for it. <laughs> okay, we'll be back after this. Don't go away. Before anything else, full circle, Enzo's 12, you're healthy, your dad's gone, you're different from your dad because of choice. Anong legacy ang iiwanan mo kay Enzo? At anong legacy ang iniwan sa'yo ng daddy mo? Oh, um... Let's start with the second question. Ang legacy ng iniwan sa akin ng daddy ko was no matter what, you should make yourself available. Um, he would, again, he would move mountains for, for him to be available to us um, in any time that we need him. Yun ang legacy sa akin ng daddy ko. And it, it wasn't... It wasn't smooth. There were definitely trying and difficult times. But he was always there. Nami miss mo siya araw-araw. Oh. Um, you know, even what? It's been 13 years since he passed away. There's still never a day that I would tell him, you know, tell my brother and I would always talk about it. Actually, almost always. Oh, nakakami si daddy, no? And then would I would do something. Discarding ni daddy yan, di ba? Ganun kami. It's almost always like that. Na he really left a legacy na in spite of us 10 kids, di ba? But he loved us in his own way na he showed his affection and love for each and every one of us. Now, with, and, and going to, this, to the first question on what kind of legacy is to your son, to, to my son is, is really not the not the subjective definition of love really it's really the objective love that i love god first and i hope that he would do the same because i think if you have that heart to to surrender yourself um to the ultimate truth which is having god as your that that you need god in your life diba everything will just follow through easily Easily, it's a chain reaction of things. You, you, you love God. You love. You definitely have to. You know. You will automatically rather say mm, yeah. automatically love your kids, love your your, love your 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 wife, Templete. family. Templete. Templete. Oh, yeah. oh, meron na yun eh. not, not, It's just a it's a chain reaction of things. If you would dedicate yourself, your life to Christ first, everything will just just be okay. As simple as that. Sa mga nakikinig na sinisisi nila ang magulang nila o yung pag-mess up ng magulang nila kaya messed up ang buhay nila. Mm. I hear that a lot. <laughs> Anong simple advice? Oh, um, the Bible says is forgetting what lies behind and setting our eyes on the prize and keeping our eyes upon our, G- our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, sorry for being religious. But really, you don't, you, you, just forget and let go of the past and, and, and the goal is really for the betterment of yourself and your family. If you're going to be lingering on the, on the, the mistakes mm. of the past rather than, okay, don't linger, learn. Ooh, I'll get that on. Okay, don't linger on the past. Learn from the past. If you would do that and it's, it happened to me, you know, of course, I'm, I, 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 no one is perfect and, by the way, when someone says no one is perfect, use it as a challenge rather than as an excuse. Correct. Because a lot of people will say I'm not perfect, but it's being it's, it, they're using it as an excuse mm. so they can they make more mistakes. Humble brag nga minsan. Eh. Exactly. I yeah, ko natutunan yun, humble brag. So it's more on learning from your mistakes. My I've learned from the mistakes of my dad. Right. Oh, I don't yeah. have to experience it. Correct, correct. Diba? A lot of people like, you know, my experience, ko para man, experience, is, experience is the best teacher. Well, I, I, can, I, I can understand where, where they're coming from. But when someone else made that, exper- uh, made that mistake, mistake, and then you want to make sure that it's really a mistake, that's a big mistake. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's what I've learned is that I've seen the mistakes of my dad. And, 
and it became a good thing. It became a good thing. I nawag don't have tulara, nawag no? tularan. I, 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 hindi ko na hindi ko na ginawa ko, hindi ko na gagawin 'yon para hindi ko maranasan 'yung consequences niya. And I'll be a better um, uh, family man, be a better person, I, I believe. So, Sino si Jonathan De La Paz? Ooh. Um definitely um Uh, number one again I'm very uh, very very vocal about my faith that I'm a Christian that I'm a follower of Christ um, I'm a loving loving husband loving father and striving to be a good provider tsaka frustrated musician yun ako <laughs> bago kita pakawalan Bigyan mo naman ng shoutout ang mami mo na nakikinig ngayon. Ay, oo nga naman pala. Si, ano, si mami, Leonila De La Paz. Uh, mami, um, hello, kumusta ka na? <laughs> um, thank you sa lahat. Dapat pala, yung, yung mga marami rin ako story ng mami, sa susunod na lang, sa season Meron 10. Pa. Sa season 10. <laughs> Sabi sa'yo. Diba? Bitin to. I wanna, well, I wanna take this opportunity to actually thank Paco and everybody here sa staff ng Paco's Place uh, for this opportunity. Um, I've been resisting this for the longest time um, because, it's it, again, it's like, wh- who's gonna listen to your podcast with Jonathan De La Paz on the other side of the microphone? But I was like, sigurado ka ba? Diba? But yet, I, I see what he does. Um, you know, again, I want to thank you. It's just an honor to be here. Um, Likewise. Congratulations. This is, I, uh, I see this as a huge success and Amen. it's Thank gonna you. go forward pa um, magaling kang interview mag, mag interview napagaling mo I think um, at excited ako sobrang <laughs> excited you. ako ano pa lang tukin na ka nagsimula January January of 2020 yeah. tapos mga big time na yung, yung mga pwera ko mga so big time mga ano, yun, yun, yun interview mo lahat kayo big time saka, pero <laughs> wag ka I mean yung mga iba mega stars wag lang <laughs> Mga mega guests. Inside joke. Anyway. <laughs> Inside joke yun. Okay, okay, okay. okay again, thank you. Mega thank guest you. ka ba? Mega guest? Me, me, well, well, wait, you know what? Ito lang sabi sa sa'yo. Yung mga dadaling ko sa'yo. Mga... Uh, giga uh, guest. Giga guest. Yung mga yun, hindi mega guest. Okay? So again, thank, thank you. It's really an honor for, be, for me to be a part of this. Jonathan De La Paz, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs>